I guess it is now the annual ride home from my mom's house on Easter video. Got the bomb dropped on us today. Found out my 17 year old niece was busted smoking weed. Her mom said she smelled like weed. She kept hitting her up with it finally. Finally, the niece admitted to smoking weed. The men immediately dropped the, well, didn't you do it, bomb? And then when my sister's telling me the story, of course, she's passively, aggressively kind of blaming me and, you know, maybe some of my attitudes and things that I have said about pot around the kids. Well, I assured my 17-year-old niece that while I may or may not still smoke marijuana to this day, I was definitely not doing it when I was 17 years old. Now, that's just out of control. I mean, when you're in high school and you're smoking weed, that's a major no-no, according to me, is what I told her. Oh, dude. Total fishing spot right here. When the river's up, dude, you can, you can get nasty right there. Crappie heaven, son. Although, I won't eat shit out of that river. I don't know, man. Rubber, uh, they say that water's clean and you can eat the stuff, but I don't. I throw it right back. I don't know how people feel about that one. You know how that story goes. The fish would have been a lot better off if you just kidnapped him and ate him. Now, because all you've done is made him late to something, and he's got to go back and explain to his family. You've heard that bit before, I'm sure. So other than the, uh, you know, 17-year-old niece smoking weed, and I'm sure, hell, hell, my 12-year-old niece might. I know my 14-year-old nephew, maybe he should. Well, he's pretty chill now. Maybe he shouldn't. He's cool. But there was a time when he was a fucking wild man. I was like, God damn it, I want to get that kid high, get him to calm the fuck down. Look how fat that cow is. Damn, you big fat fucker. You're going to taste good. Mmm. Oh, yeah, dude. Free range. Free range cow. He had the whole field to himself. <laughs> so this is more of Ohio. You know, I guess I always, for whatever reason, I always like to point out what general area of the Dayton, Ohio area I'm in. And right now we are north of the airport in the Vandalia, Tip City, West Milton, Clayton Township area. Taking the back road. Mom lives technically in West Milton. Woo! Taking these turns like a, like a NASCAR driver. Hell yeah, dude. Who's a hot driver these days? Jimmy Johnson. Is he still cool? Surprisingly, with this accent, I am not a NASCAR guy. Uh-oh, we got some more cows. Moo! Moo! Damn, look at the horns on that bull. Moo! They don't care. The cows really moo. They were like, oh, great. Another stupid fucking human yelling moo. Meanwhile, he probably just farted right in my face as I drove by. He was like, check out this methane bomb, buddy. Moo. Look. Moo. Woo. They even got him a little shit pond there. A little shit and piss pond. Oh, yeah. We got your, uh, your token snake, snake in the road up here. Uh, you see the sign? It's crucial. Oh, I think there's some old fucking cemetery right in the middle here in this weird turn. I always take this way coming home from mom's. Coming home from mom's. You know, man, Easter Sunday, coming home from mom's, eating dinner, fried chicken and ham, mashed potatoes and gravy, and all the shit that makes you a big fat fucking hillbilly. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I guess parked there. I don't see anybody, though. Thought maybe he was out here paying respects to someone that may have died. Huh. I don't know. Little ass old cemetery, dude. Fuckers like people in there, dude. People there died in like the 1800s, man. They died in the 1800s, man. They've been dead for like 140 years and they're just this little worn out rock that marks the spot. Another hundred. Oh, shit. Narrow road. Car coming. Man, and one of these days, I swear, I'm going to be somewhere cool in Ohio. I'm not just going to film when I'm out in the boonies and there's going to be, oh, there's a llama. Look. Llama! Llama, llama to boot! Llama, llama to boot! There's not just gonna be cows and cornfields and llama. I mean, the occasional llama is pretty fucking badass, I'll actually say. I should have let that llama loose and it could have been a llama. A llama on the loose. Could have been a helicopter video. Alright, now, this fucking guy, why is he driving so slow? You're fucking up my Easter video, dude. Alright, we got rid of that annoying bastard. I see here the video is already closing in on five minutes. We might want to start wrapping it up. Well, you seriously, you might want to go back there and pause it or slow it down when I went by that llama. 
I hope I shot him right. I don't know. Knowing me, I probably just shot the top of my. I was probably like, oh my god, check out that llama. Oh, look at that llama, dude. It's probably one of them deals. I'm not a very good uh, cameraman. Look right here, dude. Rona Parkway. When I was an idiot in high school, I used to kind of live out here. And one time I had a Ford Escort and I tried to go over, and maybe not this field, but one of these fields along this old road here. I tried to take my escort out in the field and do some donuts and temporarily got stuck. Uh, we got some chompers walking. I won't film you. I'll show it off. Out of respect, I won't film them. Put them on my YouTube channel without their permission. So anyhow, my escort was stuck out there and I was fucking like, oh my God, how, what am I going to do? How am I going to explain this? Luckily though, I finally got out of there, you know, back and forth, back and forth, turn the wheel, turn the wheel, gun it. Somehow, some way, man, I got the hell out of there. Didn't drive back down that road for months. Oh, uh, we got white picket fences. Now that is right there. That's about as Americana as it gets, huh? Well, okay, maybe it's not Americana. Maybe it's Midwestern hillbilly shit. But Peters! Peters! And this will be it. We have now officially rambled on for far too long. Uh-oh, roadkill. Uh-oh. But this here is the home stretch. We're going to go up here, we're going to hang a right, and we're going to head to F. Zappa 20's new crib. Hey, look at that greenhouse. Little greenhouses for you and me. Uh-oh, we got the airport. I better not show the airport. All right, we're out of here, man. Can't get the airport on the YouTube channel. They'll, they'll, they'll come after me, man. The federales will not like that. Thanks for watching.